Hello War of the Visions fans, I'm Jackie Fox, and I want to respond quickly to a comment that I got asking about how the decision to go from JP and Global into a worldwide situation is going to affect the kind of economic health and also like viability of the game long term. And I have a pretty simple answer for you, I think, and it's just my, my opinion of this is really positive. I do see kind of where some of some cynicism, some skept some skepticism could come into this because this does truly feel like a move that a company makes during a recession as opposed to um, one that they make when the economic markets are kind of rapidly growing and they can invest into any little crazy idea that they want. Um, this feels like a very calculated and reserved decision, a very strategic decision, a way of reconcentrating their, um, their manpower in a way that's going to effectively serve both of these uh, games better, hopefully, while also reducing the cost of creating the game, hopefully reducing the burden on many of the employees and developers there in such a way that is going to create a better quality of game play experience for us as players, and in a bunch of other ways that I'm going to get into in a longer video in how this is going to affect us. But for this video, I want to think about the thing that they aren't so much telling us about in the producer's letter, and that is the merger of these two groups. This is almost necessarily going to mean that certain redundant positions between those two teams are going to get laid off. But, you know, I think of this from the perspective of maybe just me being an American and what is happening and what is, has been happening throughout uh, the recession in our tech industry, which has been just fucking massive layoffs. Now, I don't know about modern Japanese um, economics and stuff within their own tech industry, but my understanding is um, that these same or similar things aren't necessarily happening at quite an American pace at Square Enix and the Square Enix other than maybe cutting um, some of its foreign subsidiaries loose in what may have been a kind of a questionable way a year or so ago. Losing rights to Tomb Raider, etc. Which, you know, again, a way of kind of cutting your losses in more experimental areas and pulling back into kind of the core things that your company is known for, such as your JRPGs. Um, you know, makes a lot of sense, even if you do happen to be like a Deus Ex or Tomb Raider fan. And this, again, is kind of similar. This is a bit of a consolidation, but it also shows us that Wotov isn't necessarily on the chopping block. It's not like they're selling Wotov off to... I mean, I don't think they, they, they could, right? <laughs> this is too core to the franchise, but they also aren't, like, cutting back necessarily. Instead, they're figuring out a way to make the game um, what I think is going to be more sustainable in the long term. And I think that this sustainability, both from like just think about the kind of the trickle down as you as you kind of consolidate the team and make it work better together you are cutting the cost to the company the less cost to the company the less likely it is to cut it off uh to try to stem the bleeding during a recession the more confident we can feel that this game is safe at least longer into the future than it was directly before that decision however long that happened to be um, so I think that this is, from that perspective, a decision that makes the game safer. But also, hopefully, this takes um, a bit of burden off of the overall development team, helps them work better together, helps things work out for them, which is going to lead to, you know, better work, better quality of work from them, which is hopefully going to mean less glitches for us, and maybe even more UI updates more quickly, which I I really, and I'm going to talk about this more in my, my player side of this, but I really, really hope that that is going to be a big um, outcome, that they actually have enough development time to really start working on the UI of this game and bringing it kind of uniformly up to a better standard, which they've been doing a little bit more piecemeal, and I'm hoping that the devs having more time just to work on the game in a unified fashion is going to lead to more UI fixes in our near future. Because it seems like that's something that they're trying to do now, and I'm hoping that this is in the ethos of pushing that even further. But even just beyond a better UI experience and having less glitches or maybe less additional patch download kind of 
uh, quick fixes in our future. I think that this is going to create a more enjoyable experience for the players in a number of ways. And when you have a game that is working better and less risky to its uh, corporate owners during a recession, that's a good thing. When you have a better work-life balance for the people who bring you that game, that's also a good thing. And when this all contributes to a more enjoyable gaming experience for the players, I think that those three things also come together to create a very positive feedback loop, which will hopefully uh, end up um, maybe making this game a bit more money to the point where maybe they expand that development team. They actually start to reinvest um, in building that team back up, which has a feedback loop in creating a better game for us. We are more happy with it, more willing to spend our money to support it, and it just becomes even more stable into the future. But even at this point, um, again, I wasn't personally concerned about where the game was going last month. You know, like I do feel that attention is dropping off for the moment. However, this is, as I, I think I have to remind um, the general load of audience every three or four months, this is a, a thing where people wait for a specific unit to come out and then they kind of go on autopilot until it does. I think for a lot of people that unit is rough and, um, and or uh, units within the Final Fantasy V collaboration that we are getting tomorrow. Um, so I think that A, that's going to turn around within the next couple of weeks naturally, but also that it's going to turn around a lot faster if some of these things start helping the gaming experience, um, especially for new players. And like currently, I can't think of anything more new player friendly than giving us a pretty top of the line premium 100 cost unit absolutely, well not absolutely free, but at least getting that initial copy of Bart's for free. So I mean that's pretty great too. And when you take all of these things into consideration, I go from not being worried about the game to actually feeling quite confident in its success and feeling as though um, both Gumi's handling of this situation as well as Square Enix's handling of this situation is remarkably competent. Like, good job. This, this just seems like a good decision from basically every perspective. So, I like it. Good job. And I hope it brings us into an upcoming golden age of War Visions. I'll see you there, but more importantly, I'll see you in the next one because I've got some stuff to talk about from the player's perspective that might be maybe more relevant to more people than just this little Gumi economics update. But if you like even the Gumi economics side of this channel instead of just the functional updates about game mechanics and what characters are getting upgraded, then you should definitely look in the description, check out that link tree. I make all sorts of content all over the internet, podcasts, video channels, and um, even books. So there's a lot of ways to enjoy more Jackie Fox if you'd like to, but you could also just smash that like button and subscribe if you aren't already, even if you're just a more casual world of player and don't really care what else Jackie has to say. I do uh, often post snippets of the news and updates that I think are particularly impactful and maybe being overlooked by the larger creator community that occupies the YouTube space. So, if you would like some more of that in your life, be sure to subscribe before you click off this page, and I'll see you in the next one.